Hey there folks, uh, coming at you today with a little tech tip uh, problem solving video that uh, came across with a buddy of mine the other day. Uh, this revolves around his uh, Smith & Wesson SD40VE. Uh, you can see here it's got a chamber flag in it. I'll pop the mag out, that's empty. And show you here that this is a safe and empty weapon. Okay, so... The issue he was having with this gun, uh, he had never fired it, he'd had it for a while. But he was telling me that when he would go to charge around into the into the chamber, that it was abruptly stopping and not fully cycling the round into the chamber. And he thought maybe there was an issue with the feed ramp. So uh, I told him, I said, well, I said, you know, I said, let me shoot it a couple of times and see. I said, the worst I can do is tell you that it isn't working, but that second set of eyes doesn't hurt anything. So... I brought it over here and uh, ran it through its paces, and this is what I found out. He told me that when he was trying to chamber around, look there, you see how it hangs up? Not quite going into the chamber. Let's see if we can replicate that. Oh, look at that. It did it again. Oh, look at that. It did it again. Oh, there we made one slide in. So about 50 or 60 percent of the time there the round was hanging up going into the chamber. These were with some factory hollow point 40 caliber rounds. Sorry let me get that in the camera. See. Let's see if we can replicate that with these hand-loaded bullets that I have here. Get that in the camera for you there, sorry. It's got a real heavy taper crimp on the cartridge mouth. Yep, they're still kind of hanging up. You see that? About every other one or so. It's hanging up right at the mouth of the chamber. See there, I'm not making this up. All right, so now I've reloaded the magazines with the exact same rounds and we're gonna start with the factory hollow points. Watch what happens when I drop the slide release on this pistol. Oh, it's in battery. Let's try that again. Oh, it's in battery again. Again. And there you have it. So now we're going to try the same test utilizing these lead truncated cones that I had uh, worked out. All right, folks, it's super muddy out here again today. I'm doing this sacrificing life and limb to get it done for your entertainment purposes. So without further ado, let's check this thing out and see how it's doing. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna try this uh, 
Smith & Wesson SD40VE. Uh, first, I'm going to run these hollow points, their factory loads. This is just a function test to see how it does. Alright, that did pretty good. I don't want to have to pick all these up out of the mud, so I'm going to stop there. Plus, bullets are hard to come by these days. Let's try a couple of these others and see how they do. Alright, so what did we figure out? Well, in the interest of not getting in trouble with YouTube or saying something that's going to keep me from running for political office someday, uh, suffice it to say, you have to handle this pistol this one, the one that we just ran through the paces, you have to handle it a little bit rougher than some when you're charging around into it. All I can say is don't nurse the slide forward, and if you do, be ready to finesse that round into battery. Put a loaded magazine in it and drop the slide release. Or put a loaded magazine into it and slingshot it into battery. Don't ease the slide forward because it's going to cause you problems. Dude, I'm sorry, I'm sweating. It's, it's like 95 degrees and 100% humidity today. It's been raining all day. Anyway, I'm going to get out of here. Uh, hit that like or maybe think about subscribing. I'm trying to put out more content regularly these days. Uh, anyway, uh, thanks for watching. God bless.